And let's get to Aaron Rodgers, and I want to get both of y'all's reaction to that. We start with you, Marcus. For Aaron Rodgers, this deal likely yeah. means he finishes his career as a Packer. You think about what he's done. You think about the times that they've fallen short, though. Does he need to win one more title to feel like the nearly 20-year run as a Hall of Fame quarterback was a success? Yeah. Well, look, I know it feels like we're piling on when we talk about Aaron Rodgers needing to win a Super Bowl. One is hard. Played in the league nine years, never sniffed it. So it's difficult to win one. But ultimately, when we have tiers of these quarterbacks, and we've talked about Aaron Rodgers being in that upper tier, in, if you mention greatest quarterbacks, his name is tossed around in there. Another Super Bowl would definitely help that. It would solidify more of that argument. But more importantly, Boogie, like what did you sign him for if it's not a Super Bowl that is produced out of these next years that Aaron Rodgers is in Green Bay. We've had a lot of drama over the past two years between Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers and what would and wouldn't happen. When would he make this particular decision that he just made in order to return to Green Bay? Now, it's about Super Bowls. Don't tell me nothing about playoffs. Don't tell me nothing about winning 13 games mm -hmm. or even him winning league mm -hmm. MVP. This is strictly about the Green Bay Packers finishing the deal. That is what this extension is about. That is what all this drama has been about. And if you went through all of this, Green Bay, if you went through all of this with Aaron Rodgers blazing you at the podium in your own facility, spending an entire offseason away, Mark Murphy and Gouda Kuntz capitulating to all of the things that you wanted to have done, more of a voice. If you don't get a Super Bowl, it was all a waste of time. Hey, Swagger, like we had talked about in, in the, in the pre-show, there's levels to this, right? There's levels when it comes to <laughs> yeah. the legacy aspect of Aaron Rodgers. We know he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. But let me tell you something. There are different rooms in Canton when you talk about certain players, when you talk about Aaron Rodgers, or when you talk about Tom Brady. So when you talk about, you know, adding another Super Bowl, we're talking about adding another level to where we think Aaron Rodgers is going to be. And you're right. You're right, Swagger. 100%. Listen, we knew, we knew he was going to get paid, right? Green, the Green Bay Packers even told him that they were going to make him the highest paid, play, highest paid player in the National Football League. It was never about that. He knew he was going to get his money. Yeah. This is about championships if you're the Green Bay Packers. No one wants to hear anything else if it's not about Super Bowls. I need to see the Lombardi Trophy going back to title town in order for us to elevate the discussion about where Aaron Rodgers is in the pantheon of other great quarterbacks. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.